Yet another perspective to the restructure debate is that which is calling for Nigerians to look inwards. Some Nigerians believe that the real restructuring which is needed in Nigeria is that of individual minds and the value system. When you are saying restructuring, it's like um, you have seven blind people who are told to identify an elephant. One will touch the tail of the elephant and say, this elephant is very soft. And one will touch the tusk and we say, this one is very hard. It all depends on the areas they touch. It's the same way you talk of restructuring. Which, what are you restructuring? Is it the political system? Is it the education? Is it the ethnic system? Is it the population? For me, what, I'm, what I say about restructuring is that there's a structure in place and it's not in conformity to, with what you want, and you want to change it. Now, that's where we have to go back to, the genesis of uh, structure in Nigeria, before you now restructure. If you are saying restructuring the fact that the federal system of government is not working in Nigeria, which we want to go back to the six regional governments, whereby you have the East, where Niger things have gone beyond that now. What we need to do, for me, let us restructure ourselves. Let us first go and do a genuine population. Let us know what the population of Nigeria is. And when you, you have about 704 local governments at, at least in Nigeria, now those local governments, are they really existing or they are sharing money? Now corruption is no longer the thing now. But we have to restructure corruption too to know what corruption is all about. So when people are exist for structuring, it's selfish. It's a selfish intention. But what happens to the uh, 2014 constitutional uh, uh, this that was uh, put together by uh, the uh, governor, uh, the president, Jonathan? Credible individuals who are there. We only see people who correctly. People said they, they rubbish that paper, thinking everybody in that uh, body was corrupt. No, there are some individuals there who did not even any dime. And they put in their money, they pay their hotel bill, they pay their this, no sitting allowance, and they came out with credit. Because why don't we re examine that paper before we now start, start talking of restructuring? But one thing we should notice is that at the time we had the regional government, we are mainly an agrarian society. But now there is a difference. And we have the inculcation of the Western culture in our system that might not make it feasible or working. Constitutions may be amended, but the very structure on which it, mo we, or it was based at Benicio cannot be faulty. What we, are, we are not saying go back to 1963. We are saying go back to the 1963 document and see that the Nigerian nation has not changed. The Igbos are Igbos, even if they are more. It doesn't make them less Igbos. The Yorubas are Yorubas. They still speak Yoruba. So no matter how much change Nigeria has, Ibadan will not suddenly become Karanamuda. For the Midwest movement, the way forward is going back to where they believe the structure was disrupted in 1966. And one of the areas to focus for them is resource control and equality. We believe that in any nation where the constituent units are not allowed to control their resources, Nigeria cannot be an isolation. It's doomed to fail because people are not looking for banners to carry us. This is my country, but I'm poor. It is better for me to be a Scottish man in, the, in, in, in Britain and be comfortable than to be a Scot and be miserable. So I can be Scottish and still be British. I can be English and still be British. I can be Igbo and still be Nigerian. For individuals like a member of the Southern Kaduna Progressive Union, Isua Dogo, the trip down memory lane should not be that long. The Constitutional Conference of 2014 has answered every question that could come up on restructuring. Whatever your definition of restructuring, whether it is in terms of devolution of powers, whether it is in terms of regionalism, whether you are talking of creation of more states, whether you are talking of resource control, and all those kind of things, many of them are simply semantic. But the Constitutional Conference 
gives every single aspect of our economy due attention, which were argued, deliberated upon, discussed, and agreed. While for others, the past documents will not be efficient to deal with the issues of the present day Nigeria. Legal practitioner Dejo Laleye believes that a new constitution is the way forward. It is beyond amending the constitution. Even if you talk of amending the constitution, you will now have to restructure the entire constitution the way it is structured now. You will need to, uh, to do a total overhaul of it, even having to remove some institutions that are existing now. And you can't go through that process because the constitution is a rigid and inflexible constitution. Those who molded it made it that, so that it will be difficult for some interests that are in need to be dealt with. Look at the Land Use Act, for instance. Why is it so difficult to do away with it? Because it's an existing law. The military planted it into the constitution, and they know it's going to be difficult to amend it or to remove it from the constitution. The best you can do is to amend that law. You cannot remove it. And meanwhile, even the constitution itself did not derive its legitimacy from the people. So you have something imposed or forced on the people. And all of us are helpless. A word of caution from senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano. He believes that the restructuring process has already begun, as indicated in the case between the Lagos State Government and the federal government in handling hospitality taxes. For anybody to therefore say that restructuring is illegal or is not right, I mean, such a person is either not current with our recent history or is certainly being mischievous. However, however, Nigerians must be very careful, and I'm talking of the majority of our people, in ensuring that the political class is not allowed to hijack the genuine demand for restructuring. When you are talking of devolution of powers from Abuja to the other federating unit, you must also talk of democratization of those powers so that you don't have local emperors at the state and local government. Uh, the chairman, NBC, state. Mr. Fallon further challenges the ruling class on the sincerity of the talks on restructuring irrespective of political party affiliation. I've read the PDP, you know, accusing the APC of not being committed to restructuring. You were in power for 16 years. You do restructure the country. President Jonathan received the, uh, the report of the conference on the 20th of August, 2014. He was in power for a period of nine months thereafter. He never touched the document. Many of the governors now who were in the battle, in fact, all the governors who were in the battle, who participated in the Yoruba summit, have not done anything about restructuring. You don't have to wait to ab for Abuja to restructure in your state. Because the 2014 National Conference had about three proposals, 600 recommendations, grouped into three. Those recommendations that requ will require constitutional amendment, those that will require ordinary statutory amendment, and those that will require policy decisions. One of them, I just read in the papers today that the federal government has saved $3 million from not sending delegations to uh, Mecca and Jerusalem for the past three years. This year it's been reported that the state government spent about $136 billion on pilgrimages to Mecca. Whereas that conference of 1999 unanimously agreed that government, federal and state government should withdraw from the sponsorship of pilgrimages. So that is the business of the state. In organizing your schools, you don't need restructuring in Abuja. In feeding your people, KB is producing rice, uh, Ebonyi is producing rice, very soon those two states will 
get Nigeria to be self-sufficient in rice production. You don't need restructure to do that. The debate is still on and you can have your say on Big Story. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy John Mekwa.